Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name is Sutton Def from the Purple Rain Podcast. Thank you guys for watching another video here on the PRP YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you are new for more Ravens content and more Purple Rain content, man. We're not just a uh, Ravens football channel. I'm going to be doing some more MMA stuff here soon, um, some more NFL teams we're going to be covering. Of course, we cover more of them in the actual Purple Rain Podcast as well. Make sure you tune into the actual Purple Rain Podcast episodes on Mondays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time, uh, except for when the Ravens are playing on a uh, primetime Monday or thursday uh we don't do episodes those days so today i just wanted to check in with you guys kind of about the uh, latest news that came out from adam schefter earlier today just basically saying that there are other teams that have sent uh trade inquiries to the ravens about their running backs so uh latavius murray tyson williams devonta freeman Le'Veon bell those guys uh seem to be drawing some interest from other teams in the league uh which is very very interesting to me very very fascinating and here's why the ravens uh, of course, lost all three of their starting running backs, being uh, Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, and Justice Hill. Uh, and in 10 days, in the 10-day turnaround time, they went and picked up three backs, uh, and then they bought them in. And now they're the fourth-ranked rushing attack in the entire league. The fourth-ranked rushing attack. You lose your entire running back committee, and then, out of nowhere, five weeks into the season, you're still fourth-ranked in rushing in the league. That's crazy, and teams are paying attention to that. I think that's why they're picking up the phones and calling Baltimore to see hey, what can we do to get some of the success on our team in terms of running the football? Now, of course, a lot of that has to do with Lamar Jackson running the football, but also we've seen some effectiveness out of some of our backs. Like Latavius Murray, he showed some burst on a couple plays. He's got a couple touchdowns. Um, Devonta Freeman's not really a guy who a lot of us Ravens fans are really high on right now. We really haven't seen too much of him. He had like two big runs in the Chiefs games, but that was really it. Other than that, you know, he did have some frustrating runs, uh, I think, in the in the Lions game. Uh, where it just didn't seem like he was really cutting it up field where he should have and just making the right moves. It just didn't look too good. Uh, Tyson Williams is a very, very interesting case now. Um, Tyson Williams, we, he's the second leading rusher behind Lamar Jackson right now. But the problem is, it seems like the Baltimore Ravens coaching staff just does not trust him uh, at all. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, I can tell you what it is. It's, it's the fumbles. So he has uh, two fumbles up to this point, I believe, uh, two or three. Um, you can correct me in the comment section if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, he's got a couple fumbles on the season already. And um, I think that's why the uh, the Ravens coaching staff, I, I think specifically Greg Roman, you know, the one who's actually orchestra orchestrating, blah, sorry, this uh, passing and not passing attack, but running attack. He doesn't believe in him and he doesn't trust him. Uh, and it, it sucks because it really seemed like for a while Tyson Williams would be our guy, like our, our, our Gus Edwards this season. Like he was going to have to be, right? Uh, but, you know, it just doesn't look like that right now. He looks like he's in the doghouse, which leads me to believe that he could be on the trading block potentially. Now, for whom? I, I don't know yet. But here's my thing. Let's think about the holes on this team. Let's think about where this team could get better. Right. Uh, and that will basically tell us whether or not maybe what the Ravens will do in terms of trading one of these running backs uh, for some other collateral. So you got to look. Offensive tackle is a very shaky position right now. So we've got Ronnie Stanley, who's still out. He should be coming back in a couple weeks. We're not sure at this point. I mean, it really seems like we rushed him back, you know, in, in the first game uh, against the uh, the Raiders because he hasn't played since week one, you know. Um, so it seems like we rushed him back because now he hasn't played. And we also have Alejandro Villanueva, who's, you know, dealing with injury issues as well. So offensive tackle is one position where I could see the Ravens possibly making a trade, trading trading away one of those running backs to get uh, some more depth at the offensive tackle position. Because as this passing game starts to expand, as we get a Rashad Bateman and a Miles Boykin back, I mean, Lamar is going to need the protection, all the protection he can get. Um, so, you know, and like we always say, this is the longest NFL season ever, ever. So you definitely want that depth in the trenches on the offensive line. So I think that offensive tackle could be a, a possible position. Uh, that the Ravens might try to go after if they are planning to make a trade before the trade deadline, which is November 1st. Uh, I think they could go that route or they could get more linebacker depth. Hey, look, we lost LJ Fort um, at the, you know, the, before the season started. And that is huge. That is huge. Nobody's really talking about that. But LJ Fort was a huge piece of our defense when it came to just, you know, veteran leadership uh, on the field. That is. And then like just being able to like fly around his instincts being there. I mean, we see our guys right now, we've got guys like Malik Harrison, uh, Patrick Queen, Chris Board. They're playing. They're playing OK. Patrick Queen has been struggling a little bit lately. We know that. Um, do fully expect him to bounce back. Absolutely. Um, I just think it's, it's going to take some time for him to kind of get 
in the mental, the mentality of it. I don't know. He, he just kind of checked out of it right now, it seems like. But definitely think he'll get that back soon and very soon. Malik Harrison is an underrated guy. He's been playing really well lately. I've been seeing uh, what he's been putting on tape. He actually has impressed me um, in terms of where he's coming from. Uh, Chris Board as well. He's another guy who's you know been playing really well, too. So um, I think that with our, our linebackers, they may be looking to sign somebody just just to get another guy in, you know, um, maybe some uh, like a veteran or somebody like that that they could trade for. Um, so, yeah, linebacker is is one as well, because losing LJ Ford was huge for us this season. Um, but, yeah, those are going to be the two biggest positions where I think that the Ravens are pro- possibly going to uh, try to get help at. Another one could be safety. Another one could be safety. Um, look, we haven't seen Deshaun Elliott really take that next step up that we really thought he was going to take just yet. So maybe they want to um, put a little bit of insurance there, um, get a guy in the safety position uh, to fill in that depth as well. So we don't have to bring Brandon Stevens out all the time um, as safety. So I, I definitely think that's a possibility, too, because you got to look at all the uh, all the competition that the Ravens are going to be facing uh, come playoff time. You see what Josh Allen and the Bills can do with Josh Allen's big arm. We know Patrick Mahomes has a big arm as well. A lot of these quarterbacks now that we're going to be facing later in the season, they can put pressure on a secondary with the deep ball. So safety is a, is a, a huge position of need where we do need to get better. We do need to get better. The secondary has not been the best this season. It is getting better. It is getting better. But um, safety should definitely be addressed as well. So those are going to be the three positions from me, guys. If the Ravens are to make a trade uh, and get rid of one of the running backs, I think that they should either get offensive tackle, safety, or linebacker. But that's just me, though. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, Make sure you guys like the video. Also, subscribe if you're new and you enjoyed the content. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Sutton Depth. And make sure you catch PRP Live, the Purple Rain Podcast Live, and join the Rain Gang every Monday and Thursdays at 7 p.m., except for when the Ravens play on primetime on those days. So needless to say, if you're watching this video, I am recording it the day that the Ravens played the Indianapolis Colts on Monday Night Football. Just to let you know, there will not be a live podcast tonight. But um, yeah, we'll catch you guys on Thursday. Um, this has been your boy Sun Death from the Pro Brain Podcast. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.